hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your very first time here my name is elizabeth Fuency, and here on this channel i give you the sweet the sweet the sweetest news ever so please consider subscribing guys so consider subscribing and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any video here so i'm sorry i haven't made an update about hush puppy arrest and the old thing i'm really really sorry a lot of things has been going on here <laughs> that's been taking my time uh yeah a lot of things have been taking my time and i'm sorry guys i am sorry but then yeah i brought you the hot cheese you can tell by the title to play this video is about to be hot 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 so i just wanted to come down and watch the video to the very end so that you can get the full gist but before you go to that i have one news to that i want you to know about so this woman as you can see that woman that lady every woman whatever she she is called doctor and note that i said doctor so i'm very sure before you could be called a doctor there are some degrees there are some certificates you will have gotten before being called a doctor it's not just a day something so basically the, what this woman did is that she did um plastic surgery for people that want to increase their boobs people that want to increase their yash and all that that's basically what she did she increased boobs and yash and all that and guys this woman eh, hmm. anyway so this woman was arrested and charged to court you heard me very well this woman was arrested and charged to court and let me just briefly explain what happened to you guys she did a surgery for someone to increase the boobs and it's it's failed like i've been seeing the video all over bloggers bloggers have been taking it but i don't really know if it's true or not you know how bloggers do i don't know how true it is so i don't really talk about it but the reason why i'm making this video or talking about it now is that this woman was arrested and because the woman she did a plastic surgery for four is dead like as i'm making this video that woman is dead and that's why this woman was charged to court and all that and honestly i don't I, I won't say I blame her because I've been hearing cases about this woman doing a failed surgery not once, not twice. Let me not even say this is the third time I'm hearing it. And you still go and do surgery there. Like, who does that? Fine, I know her page is, is enough to convince you because she has over 70,000 plus followers and she used to post all these things. So her page is enough to convince you. But then you shouldn't even turn a deaf head to people saying things about it. This is your life. I'm not saying plastic surgery is not good because if I say that now, people will come and attack me in the comment section. I won't say plastic surgery is not good, but please go to a specialist. And I'm not saying doctor, I know he's not a specialist, so don't get me wrong, go. So I'm not saying she's not a specialist, but since you've been hearing information about a face surgery, that should give you a red flag. Like that should open your head not to even go there. We have a lot of Nigerians that do plastic surgery and they are really doing well. They are doing fine. So since you've been hearing information about her, you shouldn't even go there at all. And this video, I'll play this video. Don't worry. This woman was shot to court and then she is still talking. Like who are you to talk? Who are you to talk? Let me just play it for you guys. Let me play it so that we can hear you together. Not everything you see online that you believe. All lies. Our people in Nigeria are being deceived. People are being bullied every day. Just lover. Just lover, number one. Steady putting my name on his blog. I don't know what I've done to you. Hmm? Now you put my picture that I'm hiding my face. This is my face. Hmm? I'm not hiding my face from you or anybody. And I'm willing to follow this case too. Yeah, it's what is why he's talking about it. I'm very sure you'll have seen the name of this blogger. The blogger I don't want to mention any, but then you have to see it. What is my saying is that she's going to take the blogger to any length just because she was tried to court let me know what you guys think in the comment section let me know what you think about plastic surgery and basically what this woman is talking about because i don't even understand her 
I don't understand. Are you proud of what you did? Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you proud of it? Let me know in the comment section, guys. The comment section is not for you to drop a hate comment. It's for us to interact, to talk, to talk about your opinion, your subtraction, your addition, whatever it is. Let me know in the comment section about this whole thing. So yeah, let's move to the main gist. The main coco, the main gist of today. Oga, hush puppy. Next. If you have been following my updates, you will know where we stop. And if you can't remember, let me remind you. The last update I made about Osh Poppy was that was that when they said he would be extradited to Nigeria, and I made my own opinion that once a guy is extradited to Nigeria, the case is closed because we know him. We know. <laughs> Don't let me say anything. But then, that's not the case. You guys know that Osh Poppy was arrested in Dubai. The phone Dubai police um released a video. I, I, I didn't post the video because there is no we will get a copyright. So what's not the point? I didn't post the video. So the reason why I haven't made updates about him is that I'm trying to get some information because I don't want to come here and be talking in rubbish and talking in nonsense. I just want to get an update. So all this why Osh Puppy is in the custody of Dubai in Dubai. That's Interpol, International Police in Dubai. And while he was in, in custody of Dubai being Interpol, he made some things that <laughs> honestly blew my mind because I don't even expect it. And the first thing he said is that he's not in Nigeria. <clears throat> Oga, we know you. Even there is this trending picture that, that, that is going online, that is trending online about Osh Puppy while he was in Ekaja selling selling all these materials and all that you are in nigeria so the fact that you move to dubai or you relocate in dubai doesn't mean you are not in nigeria you are born and brought up in nigeria you just go there but don't, don't, don't let me take this person out that's their own problem and the second thing he made in in in, in dubai while was in the custody of interpol is that he said is a brand influencer I mean, he's an brand influence is an influencer i mean he's a brand influencer and i was like mm -mm. your nose now uh -uh. okay let's assume you are a brand influencer that you can okay at least you can afford clothes and all these gushy clothes and all that but where on earth have you seen a brand influencer or a social media influencer that is net worth right from one dollar to four hundred millions of dollar net worth kilo day how how Let's say okay, brand influencer can actually get money and some money, sha, and some clothes and some they can live some expensive life, we understand. But where on earth did you get all these expensive cars, expensive house, private jets, all these Ferrari, all these Lamborghini? Where, where did you get them? Is it from this social media influencer? Because honestly, I don't understand. I don't understand. But all this thing was why he was in Dubai, this thing, Dubai custody. So we guys, you know that it was transferred to was transferred to the FBI. Like it was sent to the to the to the US. So it's no longer in the custody of Dubai. It was sent to the US. And once they sent this guy to US, <laughs> Oga started confessing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he started confessing. That started confessing and mentioning something, and he mentioned Elinda, Dino, and Bukola. I don't know if you guys are thinking if it's the same these people we know, the same people we know. I don't know, but <clears throat> who knows? Who not? Who not? You know, you know when he was in Dubai, he's just making all this, just like they are doing chai pay, chai play. But when they get to FBI, they 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 don't know anything. They put him into this thing and he started confessing. And ever since he started mentioning name, everybody is not at rest. Guys, Mofas, you know Mofas. I'm not saying Mofas is a fraudulent, but I do fraud, all these fraudulent activities. So I don't know. But immediately he started mentioning name. Mofas deleted some fancy thing he has splashed on my all this. <laughs> started deleting all these things he has posted online and all that and he changed all his bow to something else and something else even all these malicia boys said everybody was just scared so that he won't mention their name those people that he has done something together before and even people even drag this that he frees online i don't even want to talk about him because i don't think i like him sure so 
when they started mentioning everybody is just catching fear, 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 fear. Everybody is just fear about this whole thing. And yes, now this is where the whole issue now. They said Osh Poppy to be Osh Poppy has been charged to court and will appear in court today. Osh Poppy will appear in court today. <laughs> and there is this post that Mama Kemi Lawyer posted that Osh Poppy is now in jail, like in prison, not even in jail. Why am I saying jail? The Osh Poppy is now in jail. You guys can see it today. From what you are seeing now, you can tell that he's going to court, which everybody know. A few hours ago, Mama Kemi Lawyer made a post that Osh Poppy left court in Chicago, where he was arranged face 20 years in prison. 20 good years so if he is to spend 20 years in prison and we are in 2020 meaning he's coming back 2040 2040 god that's a lot hey in 20 years just imagine what would have happened to us some people have even been dead so he's going to call he's going to prison for 20 years so what did people that are doing here with that you think and nobody will catch you. Osh Poppy, your boss don't is going to prison you. So just stop about it. Just just stop doing fraud. It's it's not a good thing. Mm? It's not a good thing. So that will be the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, if you think this video is helpful enough for you, make sure to subscribe. Turn on your post notification and like this video, share this video and drop a comment in the comment section. Like I always say, the comment is more to interact, not to drop a hate comment. Thank you. Bye.